In this video, I'm going to show you why selecting the day for your schedule to start on is the best way to work it. So on this November, I have designed this schedule. And so I've, uh, let's click it to run it. And so it starts on November 1st, which happens to be a Sunday. Now I have configured all these days so that they have the proper number of people working on each day of the week. So after I've done this, now if I decide to put it on um, December 1st, and so let's, let's clear this first of all, and then let's uh, change this to 12. And you can see that it's you know, December 1st is a Tuesday. And if I run this schedule, my uh, so you can see that December 1st is a Tuesday and if my schedule started here then my configuration of days for each days of the week and what what staff were needed there would be skewed off of, of from the original so what I have done now is I have selected Sunday as my start date. If you remember right the correctly, if you remember correctly, the Sunday was the first of November that of how I configured my my original chart. So I'm going to select Sunday for the next one. And so if I run the schedule here, it's going to start on the first Sunday of this month. So if I run the schedule, I get this, which kind of drips over there. And so possibly we would like to change it to November 29th, which I believe is a Sunday. And then your data would be, your days and your data would be back to the way it was designed. Okay, and so I'm going to clear this and I'm going to run it again. And it should run because this is the first Sunday of the what it sees as a month. So let's run this. And there's your, your days back to where they should have been. Now, let me show you how I've done this. So I have, um, I have named this uh, pick your start, and then I've declared a few things here. I've declared Sunday as an integer. So on, this, on the top of my chart here, I have this, this being the weekday, and it's the weekday of November 29th, and then I have it. Uh, a weekday plus one so it's basically whatever the number is plus one now so in the Microsoft world um, Sunday is a one and Saturday is a six is a seven sorry um, and so that you can select any day of the week that you wanted just by the number and so what I'm doing here is I'm, I um, I've declared Sunday equals um, equals one. So we're looking for a one in this range here, in this row, the second row on the top of my chart here. And so I'm using the find function, find Sunday, and with sheet one range B2 to J8, and that way I know that I'm gonna get a Sunday somewhere within that range of them. Set range equals find what, find strings, uh, find string cells after looking in search values, search direction next, map case, and with and so then it says, so with the range that you found, first week equals range column. So it figures out whatever the first, first Sunday is and gives you the column number there. And that's what your first week is here. And so then basically I've just gone about my, um, gone about coding my chart here. But what I'm saying, instead of um, X, Y, or y equals a number is equals the first week and first week is whatever they found to be the number that uh, corresponds to the first Sunday in the chart. Now um, it, it, it says first week all the way down and that way you, you're good. I will of course include this I will of course include this code in the description of my video. And this is the advantages of how of selecting the day before you create the chart please subscribe